guys, welcome back to my channel and another Topic Tuesday here. Before I get into the topic for this week, which I am a week behind on, oh well, uh, I just want to give a quick shout out to my subscriber, Grace, who sent me the cutest little bee pin. I don't know if you can see, it says Be Kind there on its wings. And she let me know that all the proceeds for this went to a Save the Bees charity. And I really appreciate it. Thank you so much. You really didn't have to do that, but I am going to put this on my work bag and I I have like a little Konken backpack, those kind of like rectangle ones and I love sticking pins all over it so I'm excited to stick that on there. I just wanted to show you guys first. So this week's topic is going to be, it's actually something else but I'm a week behind, um, it is going to be polishes that did not live up to the hype and when I saw this topic I was really excited because I love nothing more in this world than to complain about petty nonsense. And that's what this is. This is me getting to complain for 20 minutes about stuff that doesn't really matter that much. I get to be petty. I get to rag on these products and you know talk to you guys about it in the comments. So I know that a lot of times when you rag on something or you say you don't like something, you gotta give a little disclaimer at the beginning and say like, oh, you know, like if these are your favorite products, like please don't feel bad. This is just a little bit of hyperbole, blah, blah, blah. You know what, I, I bet you these are nobody's favorite products. So I'm not gonna give you that little spiel, even though I guess in and of itself I just did. But these are no one's favorite products. I would, I would bet my life on it that nobody was like, oh no, Hillary just dissed my favorite product. These are not, none of these are good. So let's get into my five, well, how many polishes do I have here? Technically 15, but some of them are full collections. Polishes that did not live up to the hype, whether it was media hype, fan hype, or just self-made hype. So number one you saw from the thumbnail is the Zoya Easy Neons collection. And if you know, you know, because these sucked. Like I can't, I can't put enough emphasis on this. Like it was so bad. There was so much hype and these just were like, so bad, I just wanna scream about it, you know? They just, they're bad. Like these were so hyped by Zoya themselves. They garnered a lot of hype from fans and you know, consumers and all that. And I remember I had placed an order before these launched and I got a little, like a, like a, I don't know, it was almost like a save the date, I guess, saying like, oh, we're launching the Easy Neons collection and, you know, save the date, here's the pre-order. And I was like, yes, that's exciting because Zoya doesn't really do neon type colors. So I was like, okay, let's check these out. Let's get this. And here is what they claimed behind these neons. They were like, these are going to be the perfect no fuss neons. You don't need any white under base to make these pop. They are going to be opaque in two coats. They're not going to be streaky because they previously, not a lot of people I think seem to know this because I think Zoya phased them out pretty fast, but Zoya used to have some neons in, in their line and I have that previous neon collection as well. And I, I did a review on these and I compared this to the previous neon collection. I will link that in the cards for you guys if you're interested. The previous neons were really streaky. They really built up pigment in a weird way. So there would be like huge pockets of pigment on the nail that were just these huge dark spots. They were not opaque in two coats. They were not opaque in three coats. They were not opaque in four coats. And so Zoya was like, we're going to answer the question to the problem we created. Have some easy neons. And these are anything but easy. You definitely want a white base for these. These are just abysmal. I, um, in all my swatch photos I'm showing you, three coats, and in the photos that you can't see visible nail line, I can assure you that in person there was visible nail line. They are not good. I will say they weren't streaky. I mean, they, they lived up to that claim, but the uh, two coats for opacity, it, I think it's impossible to achieve opacity with most of these, even the darker colors, even these three up front, like, I don't know, it was just really weird. And I know, I know I'm not alone in this because I have seen people in my comments talk about on other videos how these were such a disappointment. And I remember when Cork Manicures also got these and she also had the same things to say, just really bad. And you know what? 
you know they're bad because they've been sitting on her D stash. Some of them have been sitting on her D stash since November of last year and probably even earlier than that because she had tried to sell them in a set too. So nobody wants these. Nobody wants these. And my biggest, most annoyed complaint is like, what? Why did you put the white caps on them? Why did you do that to me? Like all of your other caps are black. Why did you do this? I, I don't know. And it sucks because the colors in the bottle, they look stunning. Like this purple right here, this is Banks. It is like definitely the purple that I want to wear. And I wore it with um, Link here for like a, I was going for like a goosebumpsy type manicure and it just see-through, absolutely see-through. And I loved Echo, like this is a really beautiful like watery blue. And then you got your traffic cone orange oakley which it's it's brighter on camera i feel like it looks a little bit peachier in person and then they did this weird thing where they're like here's two pinks they're pretty similar but have them anyways it was just overall i think this mass excitement and then just to watch it completely trip over its own feet and fall on its face and break its nose i was just like Soya, please, sweetie. And and then it was like never spoken about again. But I can assure you, I was so excited when I got that little card because I was like, this will be a really, that was when my channel was kind of like newer and I was like, this would be really fun to review and I want all these polishes. It would be cool to compare them. I could do this whole thing and I was like really excited about it. And it just, I felt bad giving a negative review at first because I was like, oh, I'm a new channel. I don't want to scare people away with my negativity. But I was like, I'm not going to tell people these are good when they're not. They're just not good. So moving on to number two on my list is the original Hollow Taco Not Milky White. Now, I don't know why they call it Not Milky White because it is absolutely Milky White. This should be called Very Milky White. You know, very creative. I, good job, Hillary. You are a comedy genius. Um, you can see... I have given this a very fair shot. It's about half gone, maybe a little bit over that. I really, really tried with this one and I'm still trying. I'm just trying to use it up because I just want to get it used up and done. I don't know, I feel weird like throwing it away, but I'm not gonna give it to somebody because it sucks and I'm not gonna be like, here, have my crappy like bad nail polish. No, I'm not that way. If I don't like something, if it's bad, I tend to try to either use it up myself or get rid of it because I'm not gonna pawn my garbage off on other people. This polish, you know, just like all of her other creams is thick, you know, and, and it's a thicker formula, but this one is thick and it's gummy, which is not something you want. Like I, I just, you spider web kind of like, the polish kind of starts to dry too quickly when you're using it and it starts to spider web out. It has that super skinny brush which is really not conducive to her formula and i'm glad that she has since released a wider brush and a reformulated not milky white but it's streaky when it goes on this one i need two coats very carefully applied and if i don't apply them very carefully then i need a third just to balance everything out and get that full opacity i picked this up because there was a lot of hype not just around like this polish, but just the brand and mostly just like the black and white at the time, you know, one coat black and not milky white together. People were like, oh, these are the best black and white from any brand. And I, you know, I should have known better because, because this was really early on in the brand and you know, people were hyping it just to hype it. I feel like people don't ever want to say anything, you know, negative or not even negative, but just slightly critical about Hollow Taco because I don't think that criticism in itself is inherently negative. I think that criticism can help us grow and that's why I always welcome criticism from you guys and you know ask for ways that you want to see things because I think that criticism is a great thing and it helps us learn and you don't always have to listen to criticism either and yet people are so afraid to be critical of this stuff and the only way you're going to see a difference is if you let them know like there's a problem. So there was a problem with this and it was addressed and it was mostly fixed. It's still a thick formula and the new one, but it's way better than this one, which just gummy, thick and streaky. However, unfortunately, as someone who does not like white polish that much, who does not buy white polish that much, who only uses it for nail art, this is still better than most of the white polishes I have in my collection because even though it's gummy, even though it's thick, it 
actually gets opaque. Whereas, you know, I have, I think I have a couple China glaze whites that they're just pretty see-through. And I think that's it. As far as true whites go, I have this and I have the, actually, you know what? Hang on. So I grabbed my white swatch sticks just to show you. So I have a gel white, which is really good. This is a Madame Glam one, but you know, I don't always want to wear gel. And then I have the Hollow Taco Not Milky White, which is a pretty good one. And then I have a Sally Hansen white, which chips pretty quickly. And then after that, a lot of the white polishes that I have that are creams are either, it's probably pretty hard to see on camera, but they have a more like yellowy leaning tone, like an antique or a vintage white, or they're just not fully opaque. And so even like this really bad white polish is still better than most of the whites in my collection. So if you guys have like a banging white polish you want to recommend me, I will take the recommendation. Number three, these were kind of hyped up because I got a marketing email. I don't know. Like, I felt like that was a little bit hype. It, it hyped me up. It got me really excited because it was like, oh, these polishes are three for, I think I paid like 30 bucks or something like that. And this is Siate, is it Siate London? Yeah, Siate London. These are UV polishes. And I know I took some video footage. I don't think I took um, swatch photos, but I will stick that up here. Uh, granted that I can find it. But these were supposed to be color changing in the sun type polishes. And then we have Marshmallow, which is a white, and I think it's supposed to turn pink in the sun. And then there is this green one called Clean Slate. It's like a lighter green. And then it's supposed to turn into a kind of darker, not quite foresty green in the sun. And then the only one that I even would slightly recommend, and I still wouldn't recommend these, is Treasure Chest. And this is a glitter, and it turned, like, it's like a coppery glitter and it turned more rose gold and this one was the only noticeable one in my opinion these ones I, I don't know man they got me you know the first red flag should have been that these were like heavily discounted but I love UV reactive stuff I like things that change color I like um like the cold stuff too like I think is it Menchie's there's a there's a frozen yogurt place that sells like the spoons that when you eat the ice cream it, the spoon changes color and I'm almost 30 years old and I still have to have one every time I go because I like the color changing stuff. I don't know. I like glow in the dark and I like color change and I'm just a giant 12 year old. Okay. And so I had to have these because I don't have any other UV reacting polishes. And the sad thing is that these terrible polishes, these very expensive polishes, they put me off UV polishes. I'm too afraid to buy any. And I see some on Polish Pickup from time to time and I'm like, oh, maybe I should give it a chance. And then my brain's like, siate, siate, siate. It, it just, it ruined it for me. And the other thing, just these bottles, man, they're weird. They're tall. I like them. I Don't get me wrong. I think that the bottles are fun, but they are so weird to store in my drawers because not only are they like super tall, they're very wide, short here. They're tall and they're short. Come on, Hillary. The, the cap is tall. The bottle is short and they're curved. They're like a half moon. So like the bottles nestle really well together. But the second you need to like put it next to like a normal bottle, you can see like the size ratio is off. It just throws my whole drawer off and it makes me mad. I don't know. I'm thinking maybe I should try them one more time and like check the UV rating or something to make sure that it's extra high and then go outside and see if maybe it was just not sunny enough that day. I don't know. Let me know if you guys have these or have any experience with UV polishes and ones that you are interested in because it's just such a cool gimmick to me and I don't know, I, I just want a couple. Okay, next we have a bit of a self-hype situation, and that is the Christian Dior Polish in Poppy. And this was like one of those where sometimes you just trick yourself and you think like, oh, expensive equals better, right? No, it doesn't. It never does. Very rarely does it equal expensive. Now they're just expensive to be expensive. You're paying for the brand. You're paying for the name. If anything, in this situation, you're paying for the bottle. And yet, I still convinced myself. I was like, 
oh, these look beautiful. They're limited edition for the holiday. And then I hit 1K on YouTube and I was like, well, I absolutely have to get myself a frivolous gift as if I'm not constantly doing that. So somehow in that weird haze, I managed to convince myself to spend $29 on a red nail polish. And you're like, who is she? How could she do that? This is Hillary we're talking about, but I did it. I did do that. Uh, the evidence is right here. It was crazy because like the package had to be like signed for and everything. It was very fancy. I got to open it up. I got to feel bougie. It came with its own, you know, when you buy anything from a luxury store, it comes in typically a really nice box. Even if it's something like super simple and like cheap for luxury, you know? And so it came in the fancy box and everything like that. I still have it. I have a compulsion to keep boxes. I, I hoard boxes. And you know, like the Christmas tree was up and I was feeling cute and I was like, I'm gonna go paint my nails the perfect little Christmassy red. And I painted them and I was like, wow, they're so beautiful. And the, you know, the cap is really weird to hold. I've shown you guys this before. It is like itty bitty, oh my gosh. <laughs> it's like, how do you do this? You're like so daintily painting your nails. You're like, wow, I'm like a little doll. And you paint them and you get them and you're like, wow, I'm so pretty. And then three hours later it chips. $29, three hours later it chips. Like, are you kidding me? So I really hyped this up. I was like, wow, it's so beautiful. It's gonna be perfect. I'm gonna have the Christmas of my dreams. And three hours later it chips. So, you know, sometimes we hype ourselves up and we have no one to blame but ourselves for our disappointment. I have used it exactly one time. It was that time. I should try it again with like, I don't know, a different base, a different top and see if maybe that had any effect on it, but ultimately it's probably just not very good. However, I do want to say that now I have nail polish from three fashion houses. I have the Christian Dior, I have a Christian Louboutin, I have like the, you can see it, it's like that spiky one in the back. Can I figure out direction? Yeah, I got it, sort of. And then I have a Chanel polish that my boyfriend bought me for my birthday, I think last year. Um, so now I guess I just have to get a nail polish from every single large fashion house and then my life will be complete, right? So that's, I guess, the next goal. Okay, so when I sat there brainstorming for this video, the first four were super easy and I'm like, yeah, okay, I, I got this. And then I'm trying to come up with a fifth one because you got to have five. It's, it's not a top four. It always has to be like top five, top ten. They got to be increments of five. I don't know why they just do. And I'm sitting there and I'm thinking and I'm like looking through my nail polish list my my whole inventory of nail polish and I'm just like what which one of these let me down which one was I really hyped for or had a lot of hype and I'm thinking and I'm sitting there and I'm just kind of like staring at my helmers and I'm thinking and I'm thinking and then I just go oh my god Hillary how did you forget this it's so obvious Harry Styles did us dirty last year like what in the world and so <laughs> I was like, oh my gosh, I almost wrote like an entire essay on this because infuriating. These were so hyped up. I was getting tons of marketing emails. I was seeing these all over Instagram. I had signed up for like email alerts for the early release because I just wanted these so bad. I don't care what anybody says. I love these bottles. I think they're so pretty. I love the caps. I thought they were so cute. I think that like the whole marketing was really beautifully done and I was just excited. I wanted these to kill it. I wanted these to be so good. I'm not even like a One Direction or like Harry Styles shill. That's my sister. That's not me. I just appreciate the, I, I, I appreciate the music. I, li I like One Direction. They're fine. I like Harry Styles music. I love the new music he just put out, but I wasn't like, oh, I have to get these because it's Harry Styles, you know? I wanted these because standalone, with his name on it or not, I was interested. God, dude. No. I got them, cracked them open, started painting them on my little nails, and instantly the disappointment was like radiating through my body like, like a disease. I was just like, what? No. These can't be that bad, even though I knew. I knew they were gonna be bad because what were these like 20 bucks? 
nail polish. They twenty dollar nail polishes are like from non indie brands. I just can't. You can't trust them. Even the ones from indie brands. I'm like, that's a lot of money, guys. But it just it was not good. I was so disappointed. I will link the video up here because I I just wanted these to be good. It, it's not one of those cases where it's like a self-fulfilling prophecy where you're like, I'm buying these expecting them to be bad so that I can give them a bad review. No, I wanted these so badly to to take what I thought was going to happen and just be like, no, Hillary, you were wrong. But <sighs> they were rough. Check out my review for like the full story, the full everything, because there was a lot to say about these. But recently they even released a, I think it was like a spring drop and I had to hold myself back. I'm like physically like, Hillary, no, get off the computer. You can't order these because I just, even though I know they're bad, even though I know they suck, I wanted those. They look so cute. They had all this like mushrooms and and like cute little funguses in their in their marketing and they had this cute little toad and he was like hanging out there and then somebody was like guess what hillary the toad's name is cheese and i was like oh i gotta buy cheese's nail polish <laughs> i just dude if you put a frog on something i'm probably right there you know i just i can't help it but i restrain don't nobody get mad at me i did not buy them i did not buy them I managed to hold myself back, even though they look so cute. It's just like, I can't let these frogs trick me into spending like $70 on nail polish I don't need. You know what I mean? So yeah, those were my five nail polishes or collections or whatever that just did not live up to the hype for me. I don't necessarily think that the brands are bad. Well, I don't think pleasing is that good of a brand and I sure that other Dior polishes probably aren't that great, but it's like, I love Zoya polishes. I have tons of great Zoya polishes and Ciate, I don't have a lot of experience with outside of the advent calendars. So I still don't have like a solid opinion on the brand, but you know, th those UV polishes weren't great. And Hollow Taco, I'm like, that's a fine brand. It's just that this, this one just was not fine. And so, you know, it's not even that I hate all of these brands. It's just that like these, man, I was so excited for all of these releases or I was hyped up by other people or the marketing or whatever. And then for one reason or another, they just fell completely flat. There is a spider crawling across my camera. What's up, my guy? I got to take him outside. Oh, anyway, sorry. Um, I just love bugs. <laughs> so yeah, those are my brands or my polishes that just did not live up to the hype. Let me know in the comments if you guys have any that did not live up to the hype for you. If you agreed with my assessment or let me know if you're like somebody who just actually loved a lot of these releases. I would love to hear how they worked out for you because maybe for some of them, I'm just not using them right. Like I said, uh, the Dior polish, it chipped on me really fast, but maybe I'm just not using the right base and top coat or something like that. So yeah, I love doing these videos. Let me know what you guys thought and I will see you in the next one. Bye.